So that wasn't my wife. Like, I think my computer decided to play some other video on YouTube um, while I was trying to talk. Thanks a lot, HP. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I was, I was, uh, ready to just join the military. I was ready to join the, mil the, uh, the army. And, um, so I had probably a good, like, six months out before I was actually leaving. So I signed up for a, a membership for Planet Fitness, which I didn't really know anything about gyms. So I just was like, ooh, Planet Fitness. And, um, it was like, every time I went to Planet Fitness, it was like a fucking circus. I went to a Planet Fitness where, like, there was a dude in the back corner with, like, these rings, like, like practicing for the fucking circus, like, throwing them like this. You know? I'm like, dude, this is a fucking gym. And if that, if that shit ever hit me in the head, I'm gonna fuck you up, man. Like, don't be fucking retarded. You know? So... Anyways, I stuck with it for until I left. You know, I was doing the basics from what I was taught from high school and college and stuff. I was watching some videos on YouTube. Like, I was watching old uh, videos from Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was lifting weights. I and mean, he was huge. And his motivation and uh, his, uh, his ways of working out, his ways of thinking, his ways of training. Um, and then, because I saw that, that, that documentary on... Netflix, the Pumping Iron. I was like, man, it was, I still to this day, I think that's an awesome, awesome documentary on weightlifting. Like back in the seventies, that was really fucking cool. And like the way they live their lives, with the way that they trained, the way that they hung out with each other, how they're competitive, it was really cool to watch. It was really cool. So I learned a lot from that too. So from there, I progressed to YouTube videos. Like I was watching Branch Warren. I was watching Riz Piana. Um, you know, this was back when I wanted to get huge, you know. And this is back when Rich Pion was like, just eat, 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 eat. You're going to get big. You got to eat. You want to get big like me? You got to eat. It's like, oh, no, if you want to take 43 different fucking steroids, <laughs> that's how you're going to look, you know. So, um, so I, I did work out, but I, I was eating so much fast food because that's all he ate, I, which I think... Or think in the in the, the videos that we were I was watching them, I was eating so much fat food. I just got yeah fat food exactly what it was. I was eating so much fast food that I got huge. I mean I jumped from one fifty to one eighty five in probably like two months. I mean it was bad. I was eating just shit food every single day, and I was working out, and, and I was working nights at a hotel at the Hard Rock Hotel in Orlando. So I wasn't I wasn't getting any proper nutrition any like, great sleep, you know, and it was just, it, it wasn't good for bodybuilding, that's for sure, so, <clears throat> anyways, so, I go into the army, I go, and I'm in basic training, and they teach you many different ways of working out, and by the way, if you're in infantry basic, well, actually, any kind of basic training, um, you're gonna burn calories, and you are forced to eat uh, like crazy, you, it, they don't care if you don't finish, um, <clears throat> but you're burning calories every single day, at least from me, yeah, I was, and, um, you know, I, I remember, you know, all day, it was just like, go, 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 and that's how it is, man, and, you know, especially if you're an infantryman, you know, going through AIT after basic training, you're still burning a lot of calories, so I came in, <clears throat> I came into to basic training, ended with AIT, I came in at, at like 145. No, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. I came in at 185. And I <clears throat> I graduated AIT at like 147, 150. I mean, it was such a drastic change. I mean, I <clears throat> I'll if I'd had pictures, I'd show you, but it looked like I just got out of a concentration camp. I was that skinny, but you know, especially it doesn't help when they shave your head too. So you know, you're you're looking you're looking pretty scrawny. But I liked it. You know, it was I was fit. You know, I was running. I was running uh, uh, a low fourteen minute two mile. You know, and I was I was looking good, feeling good, and um, you know, and they didn't really. Teach us too much about what we're going to learn learn to our next dirty day. Oh my God, they're not. They weren't really teaching us too much about what we were going to do to our next duty station. Like 
workout wise because it was all basic, just running a lot, a lot of uh, push ups and sit ups and pull ups and just standard basic stuff. Um, but <clears throat> moving on from that, going into my my first duty station in Colorado, Fort Carson, I was introduced to um, into CrossFit. Which I hated, and because it, it required a lot of heavy, well, I mean, it was weight lifting, and you were doing a lot of cardio. And there, it's what what killed me was that there's like barely any breaks. <clears throat> so you know, I feel like I'm dying every time we do it. You know, I hate it, but it put me in really good shape. I get. Again, it put me in really good shape. So, I was learning to work with with barbells or not barbells with dump dump well kettlebells. Sorry, kettlebells. I was working with like uh, box jumps. Um, you know, you're you're doing uh, clean presses and and snatches and you know overhead press. You know, and which I've never learned before, but it got me pretty big. It got me well, not big. It got me toned. You know, and um, I remember hating it for about like three weeks. And I remember looking at myself in the mirror. And I was like, "Damn, ooh, I look good." But you know, I still liked I still like lifting weights on the side, just because I wanted to get bigger. You know, but I wasn't. I was doing so much, you know, physical training with the army that I was burning so many calories. You know, so it was it was hard to gain weight because you know we would we would do a. Uh, let's say a six mile run on a Monday after a hard weekend of eating like shit and drinking a lot, and uh, you know every Thursday of the week we had to do like a three to six or twelve mile ruck, whatever the platoon sergeant wanted to do. So, you know your options are limited, you know, because you're always burning calories. So, but it was good though. It was good for me. Um, it was it was it was good training and. And uh, I got a lot out of it, you know, to where, like, now I'm doing a lot of those things now, um, to putting it to good use because of what I've been taught. And it shows. It really does. It shows, like, the, the my body style and, and my nutrition and all that good stuff. But, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> um, yeah. And so we were, you know, my whole Army career has been CrossFit, uh and and uh running doing a lot of cardio so um i'm gonna end with this it's me this is my ending part right here so i was when i first deployed to afghanistan we would do uh we would do um crossfit in the morning like cardio some kind of cardio exercise um and then we would uh do weightlifting in the in in the uh, afternoon you know to, to you know stay big and keep our strength up and so I took that with me um, all the way until we got back from deployment, and I would we would do PT in the morning, which was always consisted of of cardio, always something was cardio, and um, and then say like I don't know, lunchtime when we had an hour and a half off, we'd hit the gym, hit the weights, you know, so you're keeping your cardio up, but also getting the the strength you want and like getting bigger you know so you're cut but you're also gaining the strength and muscle you know which i loved and i took that all the way to my second duty station here in port stewart and uh i've been i've been doing that probably ever since ever since 2014 you know i've been uh doing cardio and and then basically doing two a days so i'll work out uh probably four to five days a week and I'll do two a days whenever I can, and you know that's usually consists of like three to four days a week, where I do cardio in the morning, early in the morning, because I'll get up around like five thirty, do cardio for about forty five minutes, um, and then during lunch, I'll go hit the gym for about an hour and a half, with just lifting weights, you know, or doing some kind of uh, CrossFit ex- you know exercise, you know, just to keep my strength up, you know, I like it, you know, and. Um, um, I, I take for my supplements, <clears throat> I've, I've worked with a bunch of creatine, which I love. I love creatine. I don't care what anybody says. Creatine, it, 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 as long as you drink a lot of water, it will not, it will, it won't make you bloated, but if you, or, um, make you dehydrated, sorry. 
it won't make you super dehydrated. So if if you're drinking a lot of water with with creatine and you're choosing the right meals to eat with protein, the right amount of protein, and um, you're taking like a, a men's multi multivitamin, uh, I take zinc. And calcium health, zinc adds to your testosterone and and uh, muscle health and strength. And calcium will help with bone strength, which I needed because I got in my accident. You know, I have I broke my, my fibular and tibular in two different places almost a year ago. You know, so I'm trying to get that strength back up. So, um, what else do I take? I take uh, I take a BCAA to to main strength or maintain the strength and 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 uh, muscle health. Um, and then, what else do I take? Oh, vitamin B12. I take 1,000 milligrams and I take uh, 500 milligrams of vitamin B12 just to help me through the day, give me the energy, and, and to help with that uh, metas- metabolism health and all that good stuff. Um, and I, I can feel it. And I'll take I'll take 1,000 milligrams of B, vitamin B12 and I'll be good for the rest of the day, you know, until uh, it gets around like 5 or 6 o'clock and I'm getting tired, you know. And that's, that's good. That's, that's the way I want it because I would... You know, it gives me the strength and or the the energy to get through the rest of the day. Um, what else do I take? Yeah, creatine, calcium, and zinc. Um, I take. Oh, I think my wife's home. Hey, babe. Hi, I'm talking to. I'm uh, doing a video right now. Who? With myself. Oh. <laughs> um. And then I'll take, uh, I'll, what? Oh, and so, yeah, I'll have, uh, um, what else do I take? Um, oh, uh, fish oil for your joints. My joints are all messed up. Like, my knees, like, like, it, it sounds like I'm making popcorn every time I take a squat, you know? Um... And that's about all I take, honestly. You know, it helps me out through through day to day working activities and doing what I need to do for the day. And uh, you know, I just I enjoy it. Um, so I hope you guys get something out of this. Sorry, I had to waste your time with that video in the, in the beginning with some stupid fucking video. But uh, you know, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, put it down my in the subject or subject in the uh, comment section and like and subscribe to Will That Start Podcast. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Stay cool.